Okay, there we are once again the famous Bendix Diner as seen on the Jerry Seinfeld show Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. Hasbro Kites, New Jersey, Route 17 South. I'm headed to meet with William H. Morrow III, commercial voiceover specialist and former NFL football quarterback. For more wackiness or God knows what we're going to talk about. Maybe more madness. Who, who the hell knows? Who the hell knows? So what are you raving up to? <laughs> so my question to Eileen is, have you been doing your part in the campaign in preventing swamp ass? I don't think you know. I don't think he knows. And I don't think I want to know. Oh, I took a bath last night and I just went oh, to the bathroom boy. right oh, now. But well, you're supposed to use water. <laughs> I oh. used water when I took a bath. And what I about soap? And so too, and I just went to the bathroom. Oh my God. So how's Ray? Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, what's next? Pictures? <laughs> yeah, Technicolor. Oh. <laughs> Technicolor dream coat. <laughs> uh. No, but seriously, you know, you're aware of what Swamp Ass is. You remember? Oh, good. Good for you. Good for you. I'm proud of you. Does, does Ray know? Does Ray have swamp ass? Ray, your friend. I don't know. I don't bother with the mic. Oh, she don't bother with it. <laughs> oh, God. Gotta love it. What's going on? See how she changed the subject? What's going on? Don't, don't ask, really. Besides the humidity and, and other issues. I don't know. Billy would have told me the good news. The what? The air wasn't working. It wasn't? No. Why? Are you talking a lot and releasing hot air? <laughs> Carbon dioxide. Pardon? Hot air? <laughs> Carbon dioxide, right? Or in your case, in Ray, in your, you were in Ray's case, monoxide. Carbon monoxide. Uh, so what's Ray up to? She keeps on saying yeah, that. Yeah, right. She keeps on saying that. <laughs> you, can, yeah. you can turn that thing around. It says I'm not bothered with her. Okay. You can call me Ray. And you can call me. You sure you're not bothering him? I tell you, it's the truth. Turn that thing around. You don't turn it around. You turn the you thing around. All right, quiet. Maybe. Is Eileen hanging out with a little off-kilter gentleman we know from McDonald's, Ray? See? No. I told you, I'm not lying. Oh, but where you get this idea that this four dollar thing is nothing? It tells you the truth every time, so stop it. This is an amulet. This is not just some four dollar. No, it's not something to be played with. It's like a, a Ouija board. You don't play with that stuff. It's not a toy. People need to trust and take things more seriously, don't they? Yes. Now there, there are, um, in the tradition of pendulums, people can use anything that weighs a decent amount. What? But the, the thing. Well, well, let me interrupt. Some things are better, like a rock quartz crystal. Yes, that's I'm gonna get. You can't use just anything. Rock quartz crystal. Rock quartz crystal. You ever watch Ancient Aliens? And and. Uh, you never heard of rock quartz crystal? It's in all your watches. Your watches are quartz crystal. That's rock quartz crystal. A lot of things you use have, are driven by rock quartz crystals. Oh, yeah. They possess... Okay. Here. Yes. Watch, the, Eileen. The Mayan skulls. The, the 13 skulls. 13 skulls. Do rock quartz crystals possess great powers? The rock quartz crystals possess great powers more than any other crystal. Mm. 
Actually, no. Well, no, actually, yes. Selenite, Obsid no. Black Obsidian, Black Tourmaline? No, no. I heard Rock Quartz beats everything. You read the one, my one friend got me a thing from her friend's gem store. And Rock Quartz was the only one that said applies to everything. But you know what they it's said? The you know what they said about Selenite? No. It's good to have Selenite and keep your Rock Quartz crystals up against it because it energizes it from... It, 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 what is it, selenite? It, I want to ask it about what selenite. Is, is selenite another? Is, what is it? Another crystal? It's a crystal. Yeah. Selenite. Is selenite another crystal? Is, I'm sure you know. Very real important. No. It says it's not. Well, the people on it, TV are. It's uh, the most important sayings. rock quartz crystal. And in the book, it's the only one that said all spectrums. Yeah. Well, maybe they were referring to no, uh, spiritual, no. spirit connection. It said all spectrums. None of the others. None of them said that. The, the, well, those are like mine. Yeah. The, the two shows, Dead Files and The Ghost Adventures, they mentioned things like black tourmaline, selenite, black obsidian. That's more or less for keeping away evil spirits and, and communicating with the dead. What keeps away evil spirits? Black obsidian, well, black tourmaline, and selenite. Your breath if you don't brush your teeth. And selenite. <laughs> Breathe on them and they'll faint. Amy Allen the, is a psychic medium on the Dead Files. And, and, and a Wiccan, which is a good witch, is another way of saying a good witch. A, a practice of Wiccan. So where have you been hanging out? I was busy. I was waiting for the nurse to come about doing paperwork. I was waiting paperwork. for Wednesday, oh, no. Thursday, and Friday. Wait a minute. She never came. Wait a minute. Don't tell me this is the nurse that told you to go to another county to apply. Oh, no. no. This is the nurse that I went to court with that denied me the aid. Oh, gee, that's a nice nurse. Denied you? <laughs> so is everything yeah. all right? What? Is everything all right? everything all right she's supposed to come maybe next week i called her supervisor maybe she's going to come next week now i don't know yeah, well, she did the right thing to call the supervisor oh well, you got to this so. this nurse is a caseworker also she's a case manager oh really and she denied you benefits yep she did you but you're living on a fixed income she denied me see the how the system oh, wait, oh, i know wait she denied me the aid oh, you know? son of a bitch that's all right. You see how the system fucks people that, that are low income? Yeah. Oh, all my food stamps were all used up. I had to pay oh out of my pocket to get oh my food. God. How much do you get? A, if you don't mind, Maya, don't answer if you don't want to. How much do you get an EBT? You have an EBT food stamp card. Yeah, it's just about 100. That's it. Yeah, I had to pay 26 dollars at Food Shop right last night. All right. You know how much she gets? It's $15. Yeah. Oh, she's. Hey, that's pretty good. She remembered that. Yeah. Fifteen dollars. Um. How much ever give my girlfriend? Two fifteen dollars. That's why I remember. All right. Po politically speaking. Politically that's speaking. Right. Does that's not fair. does, does I politically speaking does our I system? Here. I came here to McDonald's and had uh, a cheeseburger. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me, Eileen. I have a question. Not for you, but. Uh, politically speaking, does our system deliberately screw over? Low-income people? Yes. Well, in what way, though, too, Jimmy? I told you. Financially. Well, if, financially. If what I'm doing with the apartment. Financially. over a little over $3,000 and my people fucked up on If I was dealing with millions, they'd leave me alone. You yeah. see what I mean? You know how it, yeah. it's just all messed up. The whole financially, thing. financially screws, screws people up on a fixed income. Yeah, what I doubt. Yes. It's a war against the poor, isn't it? Yeah, that, I'm gonna bark. Yeah, that's a, that's an age-old problem. War against the poor. There you go, man. They said that every dog has his day. Am I going to be barking real loud soon? It's just not fair. 
I mean, you got politicians, my God, making 175 uh, uh, governors and congressmen, and, and, senators. And, and what are you going to do about it? 175,000. What are you going to do about it? What's the people's fault? Well, well, we outnumber them. But nothing happens. I know, you're right. You change the politician, it remains the same. What's so there for? I was just talking Because lobbyists get paid off. What are you going to do about it? Nothing Let, will change. Uh, revolution with weapons? What about lynching? You ever hear the old-fashioned yeah, lynch, that, lynching? That's, and that's stupid. You ever see a lynch? It's cool. It's, they got the person like this. Look. It's, it's, it's not. It's not cool. It's cool when you get rid of evil. No. You root it out. No, you're wrong. All right, go ahead. Here. Here. Sorry, I got. Yeah, that's, that's I'm good. sorry, I got dramatic. But is, like Jimmy Madonna said, is lynching cool? No. Well, revolutions are. Are revolutions even cool? Look at how much ice. No. How much ice did you put in there? A lot of it was warm and was sitting in the car in the bottle for days. But, but what was in there? Water? Oh. Water. Is there a good way or some way that we can change what's going on in this country that's been so bad lately? Yeah, Bernie Sanders' new organization is, is... Will you tell me one day? Yeah, the, uh, our, our revolution is the Burden, new Bernie Sanders organization and... Oh, no, I don't believe The girl, what's no, her name? The socialist. The Spanish... Socialism is like Scandinavia. No, no it's not. That's the perfect system. You tax the rich and you give free stuff to all the poor and the middle class. Well, the middle class get the tax... I'm sorry, get the tax breaks. The rich... Oh, you know who got in trouble? Is, is socialism the perfect system? Papa John's Pizza. Yeah, the CEO. Uh, racist, the racist. politician, Bernie Sanders. Does he have the right idea? Your spirit must be Republican then. <laughs> well, I'm sure. Jimmy Madonna's trying to be funny. Are no, you, I'm not, because I know who I'm going to vote for. Are you Republican? Oh, wow. Oh. Interesting. Mm. You don't have any preference whatsoever, do you? No preference. Are you just giving me pure honesty? Okay, my that is an awfully large uh, handbag. I don't think I've quite seen one that large. You know, that could be a carry-on luggage on a plane that's so big. That's what they use nowadays a lot of girls because they squeeze as much in as possible. Yeah, well, especially since they charge you like a hundred. How about those wildfires in California? Oh yeah, Southern California. Oh. Where, where? What are you doing? I'm trying to tighten the sandal so the heel won't be hanging over. You know? Tighten? No, I don't know. How do you tighten the sandal? Oh, oh, you got the belt. Okay, the uh, overlap. Yeah, wildfires in Southern California where a lot of assholes happen to live. Uh, well, they live here too. They're all, they're all like Chris Christie. They're all like, ah, da, da, da. And they talk. Yeah. But anyway, uh, how's it feel now, uh, Eileen? good um, yeah they charge I think a hundred bucks if you go over 25 pounds now the airlines oh, yeah. and your or no and no everything and they're, they're making the seat smaller now too. he's correct he's right Ralph Nader smaller. said it smaller? Yeah, yes yeah. sir yes ma'am yeah the, Ralph Nader had an article about that recently the airlines are shrinking they're cramming people in man Never do. Whatever happened to your old buddy, that, the one I called Popeye, where he and I don't get along? Well, he's, his wife is in a, in, in a walker now. It's a walker or something. It's not a wheelchair. It's another chair, you know? It's another she's chair. Now. She's not well. She's sick. Very. She's got dementia. Yep. 
bad. It's not a wheelchair, it's another chair. I don't think it's a wheelchair, it's some other type of chair. He uh -huh. explained it to me. I think it's a walker or something like that. I forget, you know. I was surprised to see her coming in in a chair, you know. Well, all no, I, I, I don't know, but you sure made that a nice long story that you could have just said real quick. It's really sad, you know. It's like, like Lou Gehrig's disease. They keep working on it and working on it, and they haven't quite found a cure. My mom was in a walker and a wheelchair and everything. She had Parkinson's, and oh, I that, had to be bad. constantly wheeling her around. Oh, no geez. one wanted to be bothered. That's sad. My sister-in-law wouldn't do it, and my brother wouldn't do it on a regular basis. Is that what gave you a nervous breakdown? All that shush, yeah, and constantly moving down. My brother was moving me nonstop all the time, and I had to start new jobs and learn all the new skills. It's, this is kind of personal, so don't answer if you don't want to. How bad was your nervous breakdown? Not that bad, you know. Well, none of them are good, but I mean, it was more mild than some are. Mild, yeah. Is your brother, being that he was so um, obsessed with getting you employed, is he is he a right winger that feels that you know everybody should go to work that's like some jackass? He, that's the way he is. Everybody. No matter how sick you are, you have to go to work. No, no matter how many issues you, you have, should be working, yep. you yep. should be working. Oh, okay, let's make sure. He, you know, he's the type of guy you just want to Our punch him right in the face. Our friend, Eileen here at McDonald's. Her brother's got an odd way. Is his way of thinking very warped about? Handicapped people working, etc. Disabled. Yeah, that's the new term now. Disability. He's not thinking straight, your brother. You know what? Thinking straight. So he would deny you. He's not thinking straight. He's not thinking Eileen's straight. Eileen's brother has warped ideas, doesn't he? There you go. Yes. So if he was a caseworker, he would deny your benefits. <laughs> He's, probably, yeah. Probably? <laughs> I'm going to just ask this facetiously. Is Eileen's brother an extremely intellectual man? Three weeks, what's that? See? Yeah. I said I'm going to ask this facetiously. I mean, just be kidding. Going to, kidding aside. Is he an extremely intelligent man? I said no. Is he well paid because he's a union? Is he well paid because he's in a union, not because he's, he's talented? I'm asking you a question. You. I don't know what talented means, Jimmy. Well, talent means you're very good at certain things or something, one thing or many things. I don't it's a very broad. I don't think is he union? Does he have a union senior seniority job? Union, yeah. That's why he's, he's making it. That's why he's making what he's making. He's How making, old is he? Yeah, I'm sorry. Four years older than me. You're 55. I'm 54. At least you're honest. He's, he's, he's 89. He's 89. <laughs> I know, Eileen. <laughs> there he goes. He just acts like he's 89 with his thinking. Oh my God. <sighs> yeah. Boy, I meet more people here at the hotel. I'm telling a lot. Oh, from all over. A lot lately. This past week has been a lot, awful lot of Netherlands. Wow. He me working well, a lot of Europeans so stay here, so it's cheaper. So a lot of pilots. I met a real nice pilot today, Jeff Pilot. Uh, we talk football like crazy. Oh, you mean from Teterboro? His plane lands here? Oh. Real nice guys from Florida. And I bet those pilots... Former retired Marine. Are extra skilled, the ones that fly private jets. You have to be. Beyond an airline pilot. He's a, oh, we talk and talk, and then I, I forget who else I met after him. I just sit out there, people walk up to me. Like I've done in here, people come over. May I talk to you? <laughs> well, sure, but you never have to ask. Some people stay at the Hilton, some pilots. They say you're, you're not like other people. You seem very approachable. I said, well, I am. I said, you can come over any time. Just don't talk too long. <laughs> That's a, Yeah, make your point. You know, and yeah. most of them don't. They but, don't go But on. some of them talk, I'm uh, talk. Some of them stay at the Hilton. I know. I saw one there. I know. Place. But they, they do, they don't talk long. So far, they, they are, you have a great, quick, covered band, you know, and where are you from? How do you like it? Do you like it here? We're not so bad, are we? They said, no, I love America. First time in New York, I said, oh, you're going to be overwhelmed. You're going to love the tall but, buildings. But this is, an, this is a really great place to stay for them because there's a comedy club, there's Gabriel's. They told me today this place gets phenomenal ratings. 
on the no, the, comedy club? No, 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 the whole co- the whole hotel. Hasbro Heights yeah. Hill. Uh, they said it gets incredible ratings. Has that's why all the Europeans stay. Well, because it's one of the best. Yeah. Well, as opposed to staying. Well, in the a, restaurant they say is better than most restaurants. I mean, as opposed to a Manhattan hotel, they're saving a lot of money. Well, the food. They said this. My my friends stay from Amtrak. Oh, yeah? They said this is not. This is not an ordinary restaurant. They said this is incredible. Now the restaurant is Gabriel's. What okay. Gabriel's. Gabriel's. In the hotel. In the what? In the hotel. Yeah. It says it right there. You can see the sign out the window. How it in, man? Oh yeah. I better clean my glasses. Yeah. Or get new ones. They need to be cleaned. No. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't. You never knew there was a hotel right and next by the, door. By the way, what'd you do to your hair? Nothing. Hi, Karen. Wait, Eileen, let me see. What's that on your lips? What the hell? Oh, nobody. <laughs> oh. Okay, so the indentation on your schnoz, on your proboscis is from your eyeglasses. Well, it is. Yeah, they, that, even that slight bit of weight. Proboscis, will, will, that means will, nose. Fancy, you know. That slight bit of weight will make a little indentation and it comes out once you take the glass off for a while. You know, spell check doesn't recognize the word proboscis. Where are you going tonight? Oh, Nutley Diner. Oh, you like that. Wow, well, Nutley like, Diner. You heard on the new cook there starting tonight. <laughs> huh? What do you? What would you like to have? A nut? If I if you order a nut, they'll send you a picture of me on a plate. How is their How is their pastrami sandwich? Do they make big big hype? I've had them. I had I've had egg salad. I've had everything. What do you think you'll have tonight? Yeah. What do you think you'll have? I don't know. This one had the cold salad platter. You like that a lot. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. yeah. Cold salad platter and. Um, as long as their burgers are big, that's a sign of a. I good know a place. Some of the places I remember, and I, I used to go a lot to the top of the Sixes in New York and uh, Gallagher's, oh. Cattlemen, all the great restaurants and clubs. <clears throat> but I always remembered one of the. You remember certain things you eat, certain dishes and breath you. And when my dad and I used to go up to Nellie's place in Waldwick, Nellie's place is incredible food. I have never forgotten their cheese ravioli with white clam sauce. Oh, that sounds oh, good. Oh, man, I said, this is just You ever, you ever have lobster ravioli? No, before? but I hear it's phenomenal. Yeah. And the other thing I remember is Bennigan's and their, their potato skins. Oh, Rams. Phenomenal. The one you used to go to a lot. Well, we were there every night. The potato skins with bacon chips and the big thing of sour cream dip. Oh, man. Now, Jimmy Reed's is now uh, Shannon Rose, I think, right? Shannon Rose. Yeah, it is Shannon Rose. Well, that, that was originally... Not too long ago. That was, that, this one's not bad either. Nuggets. Clifton? That's all six. On Route yeah. 3? It's big. Well, the, pla- the, the, place, where, the place where Jimmy Reed's is Shannon oh, Rose how small were, that is. Oh, was originally Swiss Chalet for a very, very highly rated restaurant for, for decades. You should see the crowd they get on the weekends with the the, 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 the DJ and the, and the band, Shannon Rose and Clifton. They get a huge crowd, and they have an outdoor tiki bar. People go outside, and they smoke, and they get, there's an outdoor bar. You need that. I, you can't smoke in the rooms here. No. Oh, oh shit! You got to go outside. Well, is the pool uh, enclosed or is it out? Out. out. Oh, so you can you probably go out there and smoke. It's too far a walk from me. Oh, it's better okay. to go right outside, out front. Yeah, Shannon Rose is really quite has a, quite a crowd. You know, the DJ, the dance floor, the everything. The, the, the restaurant is really good. How come that's all you got? It's six pieces. Irish pub. You know, I always like Irish pub food. Huh? You know, the, every all really dark wood. Like typical Irish pub, all dark. Sometimes wood. you get two burgers, you know. It's incredible. Brian Slate bounces there, but that's another talk show. Bouncer, he couldn't fight his way out of a paper bag. Yeah, he's, a, he's a real fighter. Yeah, he's a tough guy. The guy who popped his bicep tendon in 30 seconds. We had a tough, tough guy in there. Sharon years ago bragged everybody how he was a black belt in karate. He, he, he got in a fight with a guy who was decked within maybe three seconds. I heard he that. Bloody. I heard the uh, the head of the Hell's Angels kicked the shit out of uh, Jean Claude Van Damme one time. Really? Uh, um, All this karate stuff. Uh, you know the Kung Fu Grandmasters. There's only like four in the world. The Grandmasters of Kung Fu even said the greatest fighter in the world is a great boxer. 
That's the best fighter there is. He's a great boxer. Mm -hmm. Pure boxer, pure boxer. And I was discovered by Roberto Duran's former trainer, Andy Magnifico. So, one of my trouble was I couldn't get a fight. Yeah, now Gracie style ju Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, their concept is to stay close, lock them up and get them on the ground. Actually, that's Jiu Jitsu. Grappling, that's grappling. Yeah, yeah. But if they try to get near you, a fast boxer, you try to keep getting closer and throw a bam, hit you in the head and get you and you're going to be yeah. stunned. It'll stop you from coming in and getting close. Joe Frazier, Frazier Ali fight, you notice Frazier kept on getting close like Marciano. Like and you know, yes, and you notice Ali broke a keeps going backwards and then he falls back. And what, what you don't see many fighters do is when they separate you and you're walking away, why aren't you punching? When they used to push us away, I'd be walking away, I'd be like, bam, just throwing one right, right in the face real quick. Okay, you know that oh. like, like stuns a guy. Look at the foreman, how hard hit, how hard George Foreman hit, and Ali managed to survive. The, the foreman. Well, he got, he took his beatings. Look at Ali's Parkinson's. Oh yeah. Induced by boxing, he took a lot of blows yeah. in the head. Angelo uh, Dundee was his primary. Uh, Angelo Dundee, Lou Duva. Yeah, Lou Duva was with Holyfield, wasn't he? But like I just said, the guy, the guy who discovered me was Andy Magnifico, former trainer of known as Hands of Stone. Remember, about a year ago, they came out with this movie about uh, uh, Roberta Duran called Hands of Stone. Hands of Stone. He was, nobody, but he was the one that fought Sir Ray Leonard, and, and they say he came up and said, no moss, no moss. Well, he didn't say that. Sir Ray Leonard even said, no, he did not say that. Somebody made that up in the press. It was all BS. So, you see how things get started like this? John F. Kennedy Jr. His name was not John John. Oh, <laughs> John John. Well, but you remember that's what they called him, John John. No, the, the media was not did John that, right? John. A so, guy from the newspaper heard JFK, KFK, calling him over as a kid. And all he did was go, John, John, come here. And he wrote in it was John John. How we retarded. JFK, JFK just said his name twice. And that's all it was. And that's how it was born. You know, people make things up sometimes. Like the, like the, like the, the tropical saltwater fish, mahi mahi. Why do you need to say it twice? What are you eat drinking? Mahi mahi. Drink the water. You like water. Spanish is dorado fish. It's good for the skin. Not that much. It's good for the, it's, it's good for the wallet too. It's drown. <laughs> no, that's why she's drinking it. It's good for the wallet. It's good for the water. You got talking to people in Flint, Michigan. Oh yeah, the toxic. They're still suffering with toxic, toxic and water. And other cities too. So don't think the water's so good for you. You don't know what you're drinking. I, I think it's more. I think it's more or less genocide of people. What somebody's got to develop is a little carrying kit with strips. You pull one out and put it in anything you want. It'll tell you if it's good or toxic. Bam! Right where you are. Hey, you take all this crap just to keep kill bacteria on your hands, Purell or whatever. What about strips to tell you what you're ingesting is bad? And Purell is not healthy yes. for you. Purell, it kills bacteria. It's killing good bacteria. You need some bad bacteria. It's probiotics. It's, it's not good for you. Kill probiotics. It's not, it's not, they say it's not good to overuse this stuff. It's not good. You know, it'll be a great invent. You know, it'll be a good. But it's killing too many of the friendly bacteria. Yeah, pro probiotic, friendly bacteria. Well, let, let me tell you another thing. Years ago, years ago, you know, the famous brand of mouthwash, Listerine, was recommended by the ADA. Okay, the only one recommended by the ADA. Now, what does that mean? The American Dental, what do they know? Listerine was also the only mouthwash called extreme cases of oral cancer. It had 25% alcohol. Yet, it's, it, it's endorsed by the ADA. So what does that mean? So you say, oh, it's endorsed by this, oh, it's endorsed by this. Oh, that doesn't mean squat. Think about it. It causes the most oral cancer. It's endorsed by the ADA. Does it still cause oral cancer? Oh, I don't know about the alcohol. I doubt it. After that came out about them, I thought, I'm sure they changed the alcohol content. I was mean, like Listerine, the article about Listerine. Oh, it's horrible. It's junk. Hey, Listerine. Yeah, but that menthol, eucalyptus, uh, thymus, that, that combo is antiseptic. It does kill. Well, there's a lot of good ones out there. You know what somebody should invent? A portable 
like the size of a blender reverse osmosis water filtration system that you plug in that would be really really nice portable no, that would purify just about any water. I've heard zero is very good. Brita is, they say Brita is No, wonderful. he's right. Br the zero filter cartridge filter system is and, the and best. Br and Brita, so Brita is excellent. But so zero blows them away. Pure. Pure. No, z zero, zero blows away Brita. That like the commercial shows, it takes. Well, it's for now. Yeah. Well, I wish zero filter cartridges would fit it's my a Brita. zero water it's filtration true. system. Excellent. I would love to get one. Oh no, I don't like it. Must be something hidden there. Is the Brita water filtration system excellent? Okay. You know why? Because it has silver. It's silver line. No. That's antibacterial. It filters out everything. You're not getting the nutrients you need from water. It takes everything out. That's not Oh, healthy. yeah. Zero does take There it. you go. There you go. I always wondered about that. You're taking everything out of here. It's all good. Yeah. Probably minerals. Uh, well, no, that, so, you see how you find things out? Ask it. Yeah. Ask it. Does, um... Does the zero filter does the zero filter system have silver in it like Brita? My flask moves. No, okay. Zero does have silver in it. Do you like the zero filter system? All right, it's not that it's bad, you know. I'm like sure it, like it likes the zero. I, system better than I, zero. I like the uh, oh, you like the Brita filter system better than the zero system. There you go. Huh. Um, do you, you have relatives that own a lot of stock She's in the Brita she company? Looks like her when she eats. The spirit says it, it, it has relatives that own a lot of stock in the British company. <laughs> I said yes. Oh God! You know what? Got a. Um, when when you were on Earth, um, uh, in an earthly form, were you a, a real capitalist? <laughs> no, no, it's it, it's 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 saying that you know money, 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 profit, profit. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's horrible that your nurse, case manager, not case worker, manager denied you claim. Is everything all right? Your claim. That, that's really, really despicable, in my opinion. Denied her claim for benefits. Is it applying for better benefits? The aid? Yeah. What is she aiding? She, the government or you? Now what? They denied you the aid or the aid denied you the benefits? No, she denied me the aid. She? Nurse. Who's she? The nurse. The nurse denied you an aid. Why? She just did, you know? No, why? What was the reason? I have to tell you the reason. She said she felt I didn't need one, you know? <laughs> well, she felt she didn't need it. She were on the fixed income. <laughs> does, yeah, but you, does she need an aid? Does our friend Eileen need a home health aid? No. She's a, she's a detriment to you. Is Eileen well enough to take care of herself? Yes. What? Are you really that? Sh sh you do you work in an office, really? No. No, not now. That thing no. Know yes, it does, I mean. Yes, it does. <laughs> it was wrong about Raymond. I did nothing oh, with Raymond. Oh, it just said you weren't too, remember? In oh. fact, the beginning, I, I, uh -huh. I never did anything with Raymond. Okay, so before you should, you sure Raymond now? Does you sure ran after his butt when yeah, he left? Yeah, but it was wrong. That thing is only ninety-nine percent accurate. How did? What? Did you see one? We should go Ray got I up. Know. They when were whispering. He gets up. Find, not even 30 dead, seconds. She out. gets up. Did he say a word when to us? When you're dead, you'll find out, bro. And when, when you know she said? dead, you'll find out, too. When so we're dead, we'll find out. When we're dead, we'll find out. you're wrong. 
Is wait, is Eileen so called my guy boyfriend? Is he full of full uh, uh, Jerry Gullah? Jerry Gullah is he um, a, um, a phony? Wait, no, stop. Yes, it's stop. Is Eileen's so called my guy hiding a lot from her? Is Eileen's so-called my guy, Jerry Gullah, hiding a lot from Eileen? Yes. He's hiding a lot from you, ma'am. Is this, stop it again, is this cruel what he's doing behind her back? Is this cruel what he's oh, doing? It, is, it, is this cruel what Jerry Gullah, my guy, is doing to Eileen behind her back? Yes. Oh, without a doubt. Playing with somebody's feelings? Sure. So this my guy is total a uh, total farce. He, he's he's and he's using. I think you should stop calling him my guy and make a drink called look my tie. Look at my tie. Look at the swing, man. It definitely don't like yeah. your my guy. Look look at the swing. It don't should, like. Should Eileen be trusting her? No, hold on. Her so-called Jerry Gullah. Should Eileen be trusting this so-called boyfriend Jerry Gullah? No. No. No, you should not be trusting him. You got to give this guy the old heave ho, or just heave on him. Or yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty good actually. So Eileen should definitely get rid of this Jerry Gullah boyfriend. No, but a simple question. Stop the. Yeah. Does right. Eileen deserve better? Does Eileen deserve better than this Jerry Gullah, my guy? No, she doesn't deserve better. Oh, I don't buy that. You don't deserve hey, better. Alan, could I ask you that? Yeah, yeah sure. I we're going on that one. Yeah, I I I'm, play the I'm, gonna, I'm going to repeat that one. Does Eileen, our friend here at McDonald's, deserve better than this Jerry Gullah guy? Jerry Gullah, what a name. Look at that, right over a big swing? Yes, you deserve better. Jerry Gullah. This is like no, Jerry. Reminds me of Jerry Gutter. <laughs> Gutter it says yes, she do deserve better. Yeah, I, I kind of thought that was an odd answer. Yeah, she does deserve better. She she's really. I'm going out for a cigarette. I will be right back, you, everybody. You all talk. Well. Yeah. Nah. I'll be back. You talk. Huh? Oh. Uh, oh. Heaven. I'm in heaven. <laughs> oh, heaven. Especially when that, that girl that looked like a high-class go-go dancer was in here the other day. Oh, um, my. Oh, yeah, she was like like a, like a everything about tall, long legs, Daisy Duke, your shorts. Oh. Licking, her, licking, her, licking her lips. She didn't know what to do. Yeah, she was exotic but, uh, during the week. I did do that when I had... Uh, uh, She's a, an adult film actor, Star. Are you out, serious or what? Yeah, I was out in front of the... Uh, You're joking. No, I was in front at Barnes & Noble having a cigarette outside. I knew who she was right away. She came walking Come on, in with her... You're joking. No. She came walking in with her grandmother or her mother. And I knew right away who she was. It was Pamela Peaks. And I said, she goes walking by and I'm just standing here having a cigarette. She looks at me, licks her lips and winks. And she had, I'll never forget, she had a skin tight shirt that said Juice Bar. <laughs> juice Bar, oh my gosh. Yeah, Capital Peaks. Who's Capital Peaks? An adult film star. A, 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 a adult film star. Film. That's what you said, but I never heard of her. Well, how many adult films do you watch? Now, what's the difference between a film and a movie? I mean, you could have film on your eyeglasses. I mean, same term. Oh, okay. Video. They still call things videos. Yeah. Right. What are these dirty movies about? Well, I don't know why. Why would adult be dirty? What do you mean dirty? I thought adult films were dirty movies. What do you mean by they? dirty? Are they dirty movies? What do you mean by I'm... dirty? I don't know. Well, why did you say dirty then? I don't know. I thought you were talking about dirty movies. What do you mean by dirty? You're not, you're not saying it. What do you mean dirty? Are these dirty movies? What do you mean by dirty? Are the women naked or what? Well, it's getting louder so everybody in line can hear you. No, they're, they're dressed in a Victorian outfit up to here. They got clothes they up to here. naked, Bill, right? Everybody want to come over here and uh, 
Oh, I'm hearing right. Oh, don't film. No, you're hearing oh, left. No. Yeah, that's what I, you know. <laughs> I thought that's what it meant, but I wanted to make sure I understood. Hey, and now, online, it's free. Actress, <laughs> Hello? You hear that? Hello. Now, on, now, online, Eileen, online, it's free. The computer you mean, Yes, ma'am. What? What is it? Well, it's free on the computer. I didn't know that. Yes, yes. I didn't go home and watch it all. I don't have a computer. I don't watch it. You don't have a computer. What are you, a friend? I don't either. What, what are you? What are you? I don't either. I see people, I want no, and I grew up with a computer family. I want no part you, you, you should see that all this heavy duty stuff on Twitter, William. On Twitter. Are you kidding? You don't have, what are you, Wilma, Wilma Flintstone? You don't know what you're missing. Oh, you going outside to? I'm going to go get more water. Oh my! And you got to take your purse with you. You're only sitting over here. I got a lot of important stuff. But who's going to? I drove to my driver's license when I was two inches away from. But her. nobody's. You, no, you're going to see the person that. Oh my God. You're only like ten feet away from the table. You're only. You're only She's Look, away. she she's like not even uh, uh, Kathy. Not not she's not even ten feet away, and she brings her purse with her to get water. She, she went water from there. To... Yeah, but how's somebody gonna steal if you're right there? <laughs> well, I'm I'm here guarding it, guarding it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but she's like. No, she's not going to she's not going to the ladies' room. She's like right. Now, t- n- n- now tell me something. Um, the Nutley Diner. Um, are their burgers like real thin, or are they are they sizable? That's not bad. That's that's actually eight ounces, right? That's pretty good. Oh, okay. So if they're using if they're using fatty ground. So. So, so if they're using fatty, oh okay. So if they're using fatty ground beef, of course it's not going to be eight ounces anymore. It's going to be maybe six ounces. Right. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I like big portions. Like yesterday, I every Friday I go to the Royal Hibachi Buffet in Saddlebrook by the Walmart. For, yeah. Now for ten dollars, you should see how much seafood I eat, and it's all fresh, never frozen. They've been getting the the biggest, thickest flounder fillets that they've been um, they've been broiling. I mean, but you should see the massive amount of, of top of the line food they got there for ten dollars. Oh, yeah, you would get like shrimp cocktail in the Italian restaurant. It's almost $10. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But they have a, a great. It's like shrimp. It's, uh, the, they, have a, they have a great sushi bar. They have Mongolian barbecue. They have uh, they have hard ice cream now. Hard ice cream station that you scoop. Yeah. They, you know, I mean, I mean, for ten dollars, you're definitely. It's definitely one of the best, if not the best value in New Jersey that I've been to. I mean, for $10, you know, for lunch, for lunch. Now, for dinner, they put out Alaskan king crab legs. It's a little, a little bit more, a little bit more money. Like the other day, he had a, a lobster, uh, he made a lobster bisque, like a lot, or, and a crab soup. He made both, you know. He put he put, he's Turkish, so he puts out lamb. You like leg of lamb? And and barbecued lamb ribs with nice barbecue sauce on it. Oh, I love lamb. So, some people hate lamb. I love it. You don't like lamb? Why? Because it has a strong taste? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Listen to what you just said. 
you like you like lamb chops, but you don't like lamb. But they're both lamb. You should hear what Eileen just said. She doesn't like she likes lamb chops, but she doesn't like lamb. Now let me think about this answer for a minute. Uh, boy, that heat makes you know. What do they call that? An oxymoron? Humidity is makes you know. Oh. Well, that means you like lamb. If you like lamb chops. <laughs> Oh, give me strength. She like. You know what's good? Center cut. Center cut pork chops are good. They're thick like this. They won't bring it back. Oh, and that Burger King came out with a rib. Uh, they don't, and and they got rid of it too. A delicious, no, you know what they had? Barbecued pulled pork sandwiches. They had it, people loved it, and they stopped putting barbecue pulled pork sandwiches. People loved it. Burger King, two, it was two for five dollars. Where'd, where'd you all leave the uh, dirty movies at? You know what she did? She went to get water and she brought that her purse with her in fear that someone Why did you do that? might steal it. Someone's but, but you're right over there. Where? I was in the driver, my driver's seat, and they were in the passenger seat. Where? And when I was in my car, and they stole my driver's license and money. When? When? When I was driving, I drove them home from a bar. What? We're not in a bar. Yeah, but when I drove in my car, they, I had, I had it down on the, on the, on the passenger seat, and they took it right from the, what, that, on the, on the floor of the passenger seat. Where were they sitting? How did they fit? How did their butt fit with that on the passenger seat? On the, pa on the floor of the passenger seat, they took it. Oh, on well, the floor. You, all, you didn't ask, like, where did you all leave your dirty movies? I did that what? You all were talking about dirty movies when I went out. We changed the subject. Why? I still want to know why do you call them dirty movies? No, it's okay to talk about dirty. You like you like lamb chops, but you don't like lamb. That's number one silly thing. Secondly, you think somebody's going to steal that hum that monstrosity you call a purse. You walk over there, and of course you're going to see. You just look back and watch. I don't see. I'm not that observant. But it doesn't matter if we're here and you're right there, it's okay. Right, exactly. It's that simple. And then in two minutes, was it two minutes or two seconds? Would you say that they stole it? Two seconds? When? Two seconds? When was this? This was a couple of years ago. Maybe six or seven You know what two seconds is? Watch this. And one and two. No, or one no, Mississippi, no. two Mississippi. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Well, Mississippi, one thousand. You had how much stolen when? It was a lot of years ago. But you had a driver's license, and I think they took money too. Did someone years ago steal Eileen's money from her purse when they were sitting right next to her? And driver's license in the car. Well. Yes, it's saying yes, right? It's a yes. It's saying no. It was a yes many years ago. It was true. Oh boy, oh boy. Is Harley imagining this? It says you're imagining it. It's, it's, that's not right. It was a guy from the bar. Oh, a guy from the bar. Well, you say these things, but how do you know? Because I had to go get a whole new driver's license and motor vehicle. I had to, I had to go well, maybe you, 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 you blame this, you blamed your brother, and he didn't steal your money. You're... Listen, that thing is wrong. When you go to heaven, you'll find out, and you know I'm right. Uh-oh. Heaven. Heaven, you have to wait. heaven now you're in heaven. Maybe you left it on the bar. Well, Eileen has I didn't a, leave it on the bar. Eileen has a strong idea of heaven. Is she right or correct? It says no, you're, you're wrong about heaven. Are any of the world's religions correct or right?
Is religion a total load of bullshit? There you go. Yeah. You'll find out someday. You'll find out. Someday you'll find out, Eileen. I know, because my, I had to go get you got a point. new driver's license. Listen, um, you as, might have lost it somewhere else, and you're thinking somebody no, stole it. I know. It. I know. As he's, as his spirit. I'm a college graduate. My brain is working. That's got nothing to do with so anything. So he went to college. So when his but spirit. I graduated though. So when his spirit travels through the universe and runs into your spirit, he's going to tell you. Eileen, I told you so. Wait, wait. Does death or dying exist? Does life continue and go on? Now, I met people who did pass over and they got them back and they told me the things they saw. Oh, yeah. And, and you know what? They, they put them on documentaries and they interview them. You know, um... What um, are you? A, a, you're a Catholic? No. Oh, Christ. One of your cardinals just had to resign for sexual problems today again on the news. Why is it always a Catholic? That's right. The the Pope told him, told, gave him walking Why papers. Why is it always a Catholic? When do you hear of another religion having this problem? You see the twin. And it's always homosexuality. Why is that? Is that did, little girl? You... It's always little boys. Why is that, Eileen? This is the church you did... believe in? It's a crock. Did you notice the twinkle in that guy's eyes? He looked gay. Yeah. Well, you can't go by looks, but uh, yeah. is a Catholic church and or religion a total crock? Yes. Were much of the ancient structures throughout the world are built from the help of extraterrestrials? Yes. Oh, we know that. Yeah, but I like I like the I like the feel of the big swing. The only one that can Jimmy, knows Jimmy. the future is God. That thing doesn't know the future. Oh, okay. What oh. do you get back? Go get her bag. Go, oh, go oh, in the her bag. bag. Go in the bag. The bag. Still stuff. Still stuff. Oh, oh, you should feel that. You should. What do you? Eileen, all that money. Listen, you said there's no you sense should, going to fortune tellers. They can't predict the future. Billy, you the should, only you one should, that knows uh, the uh, future uh, is God. Here, feel how heavy this thing. Who? Said your brother's right. Who is yeah. that? Yeah. And that doesn't know the future and it doesn't you can't tell things either. The only one that knows everything is God. Yeah, but what do you well, got what there? What if there's no God? There is a God. Yeah, there is not. Holy crap. There is a God. Did you better listen. Don't look around, Eileen. Look here. Why is Did it? God create man? Yeah. Did man create God? There's your answer. Where, what on earth do you have in there? It's heavy as hell. It's heavy. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. The thing about the God is what we're all No, right but, but that's the eccentricity well, to sure have a purse that heavy. That's a, go to the bathroom. that's a little. Oh, look, there no, she leave, the, leave the purse with us. No, that's all right. Why? I got too many valuable things in here. You do not. Why don't you I got a pair of sun. I got, a, I, got, I got glasses in here, reading glasses. Well, let us read. Throw away the bottle. You got an empty bottle of water. Yeah, come about. Yeah. Isn't that, it's incredible how, so how. God and man, I'm saying. Yeah. Right to the point. Bam. Yeah. Yes. No. Bam. Well, that, that thing she's got with that horse's ass Jerry Gullet, that she's got to unload him. Well, she can do what she wants. Yeah. She's trying to tell her she doesn't want to listen. But the other thing with the caseworker, they're screwing her over. Well, she, she doesn't want to listen. Yeah. But you do, by law, you have a right to an appe to appeal. She won't but she won't listen. I told her to go drive to Rochelle Park. She won't listen. But she won't listen. Our friend Eileen, you just can't get through to her, can you? After all this, are we wasting our breath? 
Yeah. You know what? Pe people will do what they do. There's a hard way, that's all. Not even worth discussing. Yeah. Like they, 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 they yeah. Now, now at, being that this is a little bit over the end of the week, any good word from Jackie from after this week? I'll find out. Maybe Monday or Tuesday I'll be back in. I don't know. I hope so. We'll see. I hope so. You don't, you don't really deserve this crap. I really. don't know, but... You mean compared to, yeah, right. Compared to people that do deserve crap, you, you in fact, do not deserve any of it. I was the first to see something. No, when I say that sucker was heavy, it was heavy. I, my mother was. Knowing Eileen, she's got bricks in there and thinks they're gold bars. Yeah, she spray painted them. No, she just looks at them and thinks they're gold you know what? She's not really she's There's not. more to this young lady that oh, meets the eye. Yeah, she's, she's, uh, yeah, she's, yeah. Ask it, ask. Um, does, oh. Does Eileen have an incredibly wild imagination? She make up an awful lot of stuff and stories in her mind. <laughs> oh. All right. When when Rudy Giuliani said that Donald Trump is so disappointed in Michael Cohen, like a father disappointed by his son, was he being very dramatic? Way too dramatic. Yeah, that was kind of comical. Even the CNN people laughed. Yeah, uh, 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 like Michael Cohen breaking Donald Trump's heart. Uh, is that just a distraction from the real truth about the recordings, the Michael Cohen recordings? Yeah, what happened? I'll take a bullet from Donald any day. That's short and pretty fast. That was yeah. That was melodramatic. That was melodramatic too, right? Taking a bullet for Donald Trump any day, from Michael Cohen. What did you do with Karen? Yes. What did you do with Karen? Eater. 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 That's right, Robert Mueller will have the last laugh at the end. When did you stop? All of the flag-waving right-wing teabaggers on, on Twitter. Are they totally clueless about how this country is run? They are to a cannibal. To a cannibal. So... So, so, so calling a so calling a Donald Trump supporter a Trump pansy is that truly accurate? Yes. Oh yeah, they are brain cell deficient without a doubt. They they should be thrown into Mount Kill. Should they be tossed into Mount Kilauea a volcano? All these uh, redneck uh, evangelical uh, religious freaks. That support Donald Trump? Yes. Are they basically just racist people? Yeah. I like the part about throwing them into Mount Kilauea. Well, that's not right. You shouldn't say something like that. Well, it's... Uh, uh, let's see if you're getting... Well, this right. way they don't reproduce. And, and make more uh, rednecks. Well, is Jimmy Madonna getting a little over, overly dramatic with his questions? Like you said about people being thrown into a volcano, should they really be? Congratulations, Nashville. Eileen, how you feeling? Wait a minute, you're, you're clutching your purse like there was gold bricks in there. You know what I bet you have in there? 
Dirty movie. Dirty movie? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're, you're clutching it like so look, Looking for new guys to star in them with you? Oh new guys to star in them with you? Looking for new guys to star in them? I'm so glad I have plenty of wine at home and beer. And yeah, I think you need it. Oh, I do. Oh, man. I wish you'd had some here. I'm looking at the kid to see if the kid here is me, Bill. He's taking notes. You know, you know what I need? Another bottle of cream sherry. Taylor cream sherry. I looking for a new guy 18% alcohol. That was my ex's name, Sherry. It's all about the Tropic Berry Sprite. It tastes like seltzer water. What is it? Tropic Berry Sprite. What the hell is that? You didn't hear it either, Bill. You get no idea hearing Bill or what? What'd you say? I'm hard of hearing. <laughs> that means you have a hard on from hearing? What? Well, she couldn't hear me. I couldn't oh, hear her. I could I I don't understand what she meant either. I learned something new. Wine that is 14% or less alcohol is considered a table wine by law. Anything over 14% is a dessert wine. Like sherry, port, you know. That's why I probably enjoy the port you drink sherry at home? so much. Do I drink it at home? Not too much. Yeah, what, half a bottle? No, only, only a, a can of beer occasionally. A big can, like that. Yeah. You, you know, I finally realized what why New York State wine tastes so great like Taylor. It's made from Concord grapes, like Manischewitz. That'll do it. 18%, 18% alcohol in the, in the port and sherry. What do you drink? Very you okay today? You're too very edgy. Uh, uh, you okay? No, it's Saturday. I'm happy. You're well, happy. happy I mean, I'm, I'll tell you later on why I'm a little edge. happy. Yeah. I'll tell you later on. I hope it's not that weirdo out in the West Coast because that's not going to make you happy. No, that makes me want to freaking kill myself. Bro. Only when people drive me to drink, sometimes do I drink. I'll get the car warmed up. <laughs> No, I had a great buffet, a lunch buffet yesterday at the Royal Hibachi. And that's what made you happy? They had flounder, no, they had flounder filleted thick. Yeah. I'd never seen flounder that big before. Good. Amongst what many other things. What do you like these? I like, I like steak. Yeah. You like shepherd's but pie? I don't eat it that much, you know, very rarely. You like shepherd's pie? Only when someone buys me steak. Shepherd's pie is good. One of my, one of my mother's uh, um, nurses is Irish. She told me the reason why it's seasonal is because people eat shepherd's pie when the weather's cool. That's that, bullshit. That's why. They've got her right up there at Stop and Shop right now. Yeah, she's full of crap. That's right. Seasonal. It's not seasonal. How could, how could mashed potatoes and ground beef be seasonal? Yeah, no food Eileen. is seasonal. It doesn't make sense. I'll bet Eileen's got one right in her purse. That was a, <laughs> that was a smart... <laughs> yeah, fermenting right now. That's she's the first intelligent thing she said is shepherd. There's no way shepherd's pie could be seasoned. You like it? It's good, isn't it? Where did you get it? All these hat. Well, they where, did, where did you get it? Right? Where'd you get yours? No, yeah, no, yours. the girl behind you. The Irish uh, make a lot of shepherd's pie. Yeah, but where did you buy yours to bring home? I didn't buy it. They always have it in Ireland. Uh, they always have it in down in 206th Street in the in the gift in the gift shop. They're always you can't selling get to the point. In the gift candy. shop, what are they doing with shepherd's pie in the gift shop? They have a bakery there, and they they have a, they have a bakery there, and they always Karen, make it. They always have a good time tonight, okay? okay. Where? Where is town? Down in the Bronx. Oh, no, I ain't going to the Bronx for no shepherd's pie. Oh, no, yeah, I'm going to go over to GW Bridge and pay, how much, $15 to cross the bridge? Around there. For shepherd's yeah, pie? $15, how much is the toll? <laughs> I, I got him when I met at the hotel I just yesterday said. the other day. $15, you said $15, but I thought you were asking. No, 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 it is expensive to cross the GW Bridge. The gentleman I met you. Oh, yeah, yeah. A gentleman I met the other day, I told him, when you go to the city, he's here visiting from the Netherlands. I said, don't get cigarettes in New York. So, I saw him this morning. He said, my God, you weren't kidding. I said, no. He said, there was 1750. Oh, my God. And he said, I remember it. He goes, I didn't smoke. I said, I'm going to wait till we get back. When we got back, I went and got up in Jersey. There were eight something. Half Bill, Bill, my friend that owns the Sahara Middle Eastern store, you know the crow's nest, of course. Carvel, right in it. He has he has sales on cartons of cigarettes every week. 
He runs sales. Right. Specials. I wonder if he has Marlboro. He does. Know, That's what's on the sign, Marlboro. I hope so. Yeah, no, he, he says... 1750 in New York for a pack. Wow. A pack of cigarettes? What was that old tap? 1750 for a pack of cigarettes in New York? I bet it's a lot of taxes. So expensive. I, well, I, Tax? I told him I thought they were 1450. He said, no, they were 1750. It only cost $9 for a pack of cigarettes in New Jersey. No, it's about eight, eight something in Jersey. How much? Eight something. Because the New York State taxes... Someone told me that. Well, certain ones, I don't know why, but if you buy Benson and Hedges, they're ten fifty. I call the sin tax. You get marble, right? yeah, but you can buy marbles or whatever, they're seven, eight dollars. Well, isn't liquor even in New Jersey heavily taxed by the state? Oh, I don't know. They tax everything. But yeah, they call it the, they call it the sin taxes. All because of dirty movies. So it's all her fault. It's clutching her her thousand pound purse. You're gonna get your stuff? Yes, stand talk. I'll be right back. Why? Oh, okay. I'm going to be in tomorrow or not? Yeah, I'll probably be in. You leaving, Bill? Yeah. You said it's $15 for the total, Bill? I mean, uh, it might even be more, but last time I heard it was $15. Oh, yeah, I can't believe it's that high. And, and if, I, if, if all these over here in Lodi had Shepherd's Pie, it's, five, it's only $5 for a big, for a big frozen tray. My father is buried in the cemetery in New York. It's going to cost me $15 to go in to see him. Uh, yeah. Back. Yeah, that's quite a bit, isn't it? But you don't pay to come back. You only pay to go there. My mother is buried there in New York, too. It's going to cost $15 to go see her. Absolutely. You're going to get ripped off. Mm -hmm. And my brother's buried there, too. You might as well say the whole family's buried in the Bronx. Except for my brother. He's still alive. Well, I should hope he's not buried if he's still alive. <laughs> you know what? No, no, I says, oh, well, I says many of, I should have said many of your relatives are buried in the Bronx. I'm sorry. Well, your brother's still, how many more people, how many more close relatives you have are, are still alive? I just have cousins living. Everybody else is pretty much dead. Do your cousins uh, contact you? I, my cousins don't bother with me. You know? It's like my my cousins don't bother with us either. They're useless. They're completely useless. Yeah, not not. I just get a card from them. That's oh, big I deal. For, oh, like for one cousin, I get a card from that. That explains a lot. Well, anyway, I'm going to depart. It, it has definitely been, it has definitely been a uh, maniacal Saturday madness and I only, experience. And I only got a card now that, that, that her friend married my brother, otherwise I wouldn't have even got a card. You wouldn't have gotten any damn friend. Yeah. I, I never got a card in the past for all these years. I just got a card now that her friend married my brother. Oh, big deal. <laughs> big di big yeah. damn deal. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.